you go on Thingiverse or Printables and look for parametric or customizable things, but most of them were written in OpenSCAD. Really? And yes, yeah, so and you can download those files, the .scad files, and open them in Notepad++ and look at it. If the person who wrote the code was kind, they would have put all comment lines in and you can figure out what the heck they're doing. Gotcha. Yeah, and for me at these shows, I really push, especially for high school teachers, to get kids involved in OpenSCAD rather than sitting them down in a desk and running Tinkercad or Fusion 360, where they're learning user interface for a commercial product that they'll have to pay for for the rest of their lives. Gotcha. As opposed to OpenSCAD, which is free and open source, or FreeCAD, which is the new hit on the block for open source, even though it's it's been in development for 22 years. Right? But uh, this past year, they went from alpha and beta finally to a release. So they're on release one. Gotcha. And it's actually, they've made a lot of improvements. It's stable, it works. It's a sketch-based CAD program. So you design things on a XY plane and then extrude them, Boolean them, cut them, put another sketch on a face, you know, to make things more complex. John, what I really love about you is you're really passionate about this. Yeah. Where, where does that passion come from? It really started with the RepRap movement, you know, uh, being able to have 3D printers that you own, you know, you can design. You're taking these vitamins and putting them together any way you want. My first 3D printer was a MakerBot Thingomatic. Right, yeah. 